Oh, that's number one step. Raise awareness. Get people to support the cause for these amazing species. The Sea Turtle Rescue Center, Decamer, also known as Dalian Turtle Hospital, was established in 2009 in Dalian, Mula. The center is managed by the Turkish Ministry of Environment of Forestry, Dalian Municipality, and Pamukkale University. I visited Decamer during the filming of our series in Dalian and met and talked with the center's on-site manager. So this is very interesting. This is how they monitor the nests where the, uh, the uh, big turtles come and lay their eggs. And it takes about 60 days for them to hatch. And uh, so they need to put signs because as we know, and we are going to see the beach where the turtle comes towards the river in the sand area, it's a public beach. Uh, they can't have any developments there. They can't build any hotels there, but it still is a public beach. So in order to protect them, they place signs like this so that the eggs, until they hatch, they are protected. And once they hatch, the turtles, they make their way towards the sea, and that's where they swim, and uh, then they migrate. But as we know, the lighting effects too, because of that, they don't allow any kind of lights uh, in, in this beach area, protected beach area for Coretta Coretta turtles. Injured turtles found along the Mediterranean coast of Turkey are brought to the center and administered needed medical treatment and surgeries and rehabilitation room here which we are not allowed to go inside it's sterile they have uh, the uh, x-ray machines and uh, for small surgeries they're equipped to perform it here and here is where they keep the tanks for uh, for the injured uh, turtles they keep the temperature same as basically summer temperature with a wooden stove that they have here and they close the sidings here in Dalian the temperature does not drop uh, below, I would say, 45, 50 degrees at night. That's the lowest temperature you get into. So it's not difficult to keep the place warm during the winter. During the summer, they open the sidings and then the temperature is perfect because they like warm Mediterranean temperatures. Currently, they have six cases here in the center. Two of them has to do with propellers, uh, with crushed shell, then they have two cases of uh, these caretta swallowing hooks, and these are larger fishing hooks. Some of the hooks are in multiple uh, fish hooks. The fish hooks are in multiple bunches, and they have a couple of cases of the nets getting stuck between their, their swimming uh, fins and, and injuring them based on that. So they bring them here, they keep them here, and uh, after the surgery, this is the area where they recuperate, and once they are ready, they take them back and they release them back into the water. This uh, turtle is a very interesting case, or maybe I should use the past tense, was a very interesting case. It's a one in three cases in the entire, entire world. Again, another pr 
propeller accident. In this case, the propeller of the boat destroyed this turtle's entire chin. So he lost his entire chin. And he was taken to the center's hospital and they did a, one of the three cases of a chin transplant and uh, restored as much as they could his chin. And you can see the pictures here of the stages of the surgery. And he survived close to two years. In fact, he was able to even move his chin and start using it. But unfortunately, during the last one month, he developed a, a liver infection that was severe and did not survive the liver infection and died a year ago. So they preserved this. In a way, it's, it's, it's this really very saddening reminder of, of, of what, is, what is happening to these, to these gorgeous creatures, to these endangered species. In Turkey's portion of Mediterranean Sea, there are only two thousands of them left. That's it. And if you look at their survival ship for the Careta Careta turtles, of 1,000 hatched turtles, Careta Careta turtles that make it to the water, only one makes it to the puberty age, which is around the age 25, 26. It takes them 25 years to reach puberty, and one in 1,000. So between those plastic bags, number one cause, human waste, such as plastic, bottled water, plastic bag, when they swallow a plastic bag, it goes and it blocks their intestinal tract and they don't have a chance, not even 1% chance because it, it acts very quickly and they die. And the number two reason here in this region is unprotected blade propellers. Propellers is the second biggest cause of injuries and deaths for these beautiful endangered animals, these turtles. Uh, so when you see these blades here uh, and they turn, many of these turtles get to be injured and or some of them die instantaneously. Their, their, their head gets to be crushed, their shell gets crushed, they, they lose their, their, their limbs. And uh, the fix for it is very easy. And um, when I say it's very easy, it's, it has some costs associated with it. All they need to do is to change all these boats in this area, which is the Aegean Sea, Mediterranean Sea, change these propellers and use these propellers that you see here with the shield. And that alone would prevent a huge percentage of these injuries, huge percentage. But in this particular case, it comes down, it boils down to a partnership between the people and their government. And that's the case right now in Turkey. They are trying to pass the law through the parliament here to say that all boats should be required to have these shields so we will not cause these injuries, these deaths uh, for these, again, magnificent, magnif magnificent species. I hope uh, it will get to be passed and there will be motivation. Of course, Pamukkale University is doing great amount of work they are trying to raise awareness. Well, that's number one step, raise awareness. Get people, support the cause for these amazing species, and then for those people to go to their governments and say, please, do something. And what do we do? We pass the law, we make this requirement, help some of these fishermen who may not be able to afford to make the transition and start using the right kind of propellers with the shield. As I said, in this region, Turkish Mediterranean region, we have only 2,000 2, caretas left. There also is a website I'm going to publish. Uh, you can see the link at the intro portion of this video. And you can go to the website. You can watch some of the amazing videos, some of the surgeries that are being performed. They have filmed some of these surgeries. And those of you who can, please donate whatever you can because it's helping these endangered species. Uh, and of course, if you are here or when you're here in Turkey, put this place on top of your list. I have been to Dalian so many times as we are going to see with our other episodes. There is so much into Dalian, this region. And this alone, 
I would say, is the reason to come and, and do something good. Do something good for our planet.